there are there are many things that lead up to a volcanic eruption, um, and some you think about, some you don't. Um, some of the first things that will occur are small seismic shocks, small earthquakes, uh, and you get the small earthquakes from lava or more specifically magma because it's below the surface moving around and as that moves around that will generate some shock waves out now most of these are not detectable by humans you can't feel them occasionally you can but most of the time you can't but by by sensitive instruments seismographs and so on you can pick them up then you'll also get things like ground swelling again as as the stuff pushes towards the surface it will start to push stuff out of the way um, as it pushes towards the surface, it will start to heat stuff up, and hot things swell up. So you'll, you'll get bulging of the Earth's surface. Again, many cases this is not particularly noticeable by people, but again, by instruments, yeah, we can pick these things up. Eventually, sure, it will push enough stuff out of the way. You'll get gas releases. Um, steam, ash, and so on will be precursors to a volcanic eruption. So there's, there's a lot of signals. If you know what to look for, a volcano will give you a lot of signals that, that something's going on.